Coming up next, the Enios Automotive Grenadier. Hey folks, Mark Savage here with Savage on Wheels. You know, we are we're here with Colleen, and she's going to show, tell us just a little about it. This is a new company that has been around since, what, 2022? Yeah. So that's not very old. Right. So uh, based in London, but this is built in France, correct? Right. So something totally different here. What the heck is this? This was the dream of Jim Ratcliffe. He loved the old Land Rover Defenders and signed up the heritage of that. So what he decided in the early 2017, 2018 time period, you know what, I'm gonna build my own automotive company <laughs> and give people what they really want. Yeah. So he was in a Grenadier pub in London with uh, three of his buds and they all decided this was what we needed. Over beer. Over a beer, or probably gin and tonic oh, okay. in, in their case. Okay. But the result is this is the Grenadier Trial Master. Uh, that we have here today. It's sold in 18 dealerships across the U.S. There's two in Canada. And it's Trial Master, not Trail Master. Thank you. Jim Ratcliffe also owns Bell Staff, which is a leather jacket manufacturer okay. out of UK. Very important. So it's not a Trail Master, even though it's great on trails. Yes, yes. Um, apparently so. That, that would make too much sense. Trial Master. And then the other model is the Field Master, and that's more heated seats, leather seats. A little a, more a, luxury. And such. But the yeah. Trial Master is your off-roading god. Yeah. This is what's really going to take you out there. You've got a front and a rear uh, diff lock. Uh, you've got a wonderful transfer case that'll take you down to low really easily. It's got a BMW powertrain with an inline six. Um, you've got some great road clearance, but yet there's a steel plate underneath. If you see a rock, you're not going to hurt anything. Yeah. Uh, Recaro seats, very comfortable. Uh, we also manufacture in an old plant in Hambach, France that once belonged to uh, Mercedes when they made the smart Car. Smart car over there. Okay. Right, so we have BMW. This is a lot powertrain. different than a smart car. You're right. A little, <laughs> bit, a little bigger. A little larger. And a lot more power, I'm sure. Correct. Now, how much horsepower does this 282 manage? horsepower. 282, mm -hmm. so that's more than enough. Plenty of. And we're going to take it off road here at Road America. And they've got a heck of a nice off road course. A lot of mud is already caked up here. Right. And uh, some water out there, too, so that's going to be fun. Enjoy it. Okay, we are in deep into the mud and muck uh, at Road America in a Enios. Uh, Grenadier, uh, named after uh, the bar that it was uh, conceived, <laughs> invent, in, yeah. conceived in, yeah. and uh, we are rocking and rolling. This thing has 283 horsepower, inline six, <laughs> so it's a BMW powertrain, and uh, it's kind of a, you know, I don't want to call it Frankenstein, but it's a mixture of parts from various uh, manufacturers out there, all top-end people. And uh, this one goes for, I believe they said 82,000. Yep, 80-ish. Yeah, so 80-ish. Uh, but you know, I mean, I, I had a GMC pickup recently that was 103,000. So I guess this is moderately priced. For, for what we're doing here. For what we're doing here. And uh, we're crawling over everything that we can get uh, a wheel on, right? Yep. This is pretty awesome. Uh, a lot of rocking and rolling, but hey, we've done this in Jeeps before too, right? Yeah. And the, the interior in this is different. Yeah, look at the, look up above us there, Paul. Can you see all those it's buttons? like It's like we're in a uh, jumbo jet. Yeah. Right? Wait, yeah. Look at that. That's crazy. But uh, you can get this just about any way you want it, and there are a couple different versions. Uh, this is a trial master, they call it, and uh, because it could be a trail master, but with, they like trial better. I don't, I'm not sure exactly why that is. And we're going to do a quick reverse action here to make sure we make this turn. Yeah, it doesn't have a it, real big turn radius. No, I mean, it, uh, well, it, it is a big it turn. It has a big turning radius. It doesn't have a, an, an easy turning radius. Yeah, the, we just had a smaller Jeep, and now obviously a smaller uh, wheelbase. But that thing really, uh, that was easy to get through right here. But this is, uh, got to work at it a little bit. And then there's water up on that other one. <laughs> Back with a beast this time. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all in here too. Oh, turn, turn, turn. <laughs> oh, lordy, morty. This 
a little bit different than a Wrangler. It, it is a little different. <laughs> There's a lot of this. I, I drove this to lunch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, this is kind of fun. It's got yeah. a lot of stuff, uh, cool stuff in it. Yeah, yeah, you know, you got all your... Yeah, I yeah. it's yeah. like an airplane. The uh, BMW engine. Yeah, yeah. So yep. that's what they say. Yes, it's interesting. Pretty cool. All right, you're getting beat by a Subaru. So I'm driving now. Yeah. Mark. Hi. <laughs> I'm driving. We, we switched drivers here. Yeah. Paul's getting to do all the mud and all the puddles, baby. This is fun. What The one thing I noticed about this, like the instrument, it doesn't have a traditional like speedometer up here. Right. The speedometer is up to your over, right. It's over here, right in the middle. And this is all your like warning stuff in the middle. Yeah. So it's it, it's different. It's a, it's almost mil like a military vehicle of some yeah, sort. All this stuff up here yeah. reminds me like I'm in a jet airplane yeah remember right here we go yep not left <laughs> turn 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 there we go there it is there it is there we go this is a challenging part here the, with the rocks man yeah that we came through this with the jeep and it was uh, actually pretty easy yeah now we're going to try with the grenadier <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> oh, there's a skid plate. Yeah, something. There's a skid plate. So, I mean, Paul's the off-roader. I'm the guy that's just learning off-roading. But this thing is uh, a beast. <laughs> this grenadier. You can see all the mud that's all over this thing. I mean, look at the stuff up on the on the uh, side of the fender here. It's just crazy. Uh, a lot of power. I'm sure this would crawl over any size rock. Uh, or any crevice or whatever uh, has a little bit bigger turning radius than we are used to on some of the other vehicles we've driven but hey a lot of fun and uh, you know for eight two thousand dollars what else are you gonna get that's gonna do all this hey thanks for watching see you next time wow!